Okay. So, uh, I wanted to ask you, of course, about Battlestar Galactica. Uh-huh. A very, very beloved show. Um, how did you feel about the end? Were you, did you think it was a satisfying end? I know there's some controversy. You know, <laughs> that, I think, is the best word that describes the end of the show for me. Uh, satisfying. I, I felt that absolutely was satisfying. How do you end a show? Um, you have so much invested, so many characters, so many stories, so many plot lines, and then you have this fandom that's so rabid and it, it would be impossible to please everybody because some people would like the show to not make it to Earth. You know, we don't make it to Earth. Some would like it where we all die. Some would like it we make it to Earth, but we're all Cylons. Uh, make it to Earth and it's, what, 2010, 2020, uh, 1990. It just, for me, that would put a, a, a time stamp on the show that would, it would lose its timelessness if we landed on Earth sort of modern day, present day, because 30 years from now, people wouldn't identify with 1999 or 2009. Uh, but set back when we landed, where we're on the road, uh, like 150,000 years ago, that's timeless. And anybody can identify with that. Even a thousand years from now, they'll be able to identify with that. And I think it, I remember reading it on set and welling up with tears. And I remember, uh, Mary coming over and asking me if we were in between takes and she said, what are you, what are you doing? So reading the last episode, so she just said, get it away from me, get it away from me, don't tell me anything. <laughs> and she ran away. Uh, I, I really think that it's Ron Moore's opus. Um, if he writes something grander than that, which I would not be surprised if he does, um, it will be something equally remarkable. I, I love the end. I thought it was great. I, I did too. <laughs> Other than Starbuck, I don't know what the hell Starbuck is. I, I don't think anybody did. That was that was very strange. <laughs> okay, uh, then I want to ask um, about. I know you're on Hellcats right now. Yep. Uh, do you have anything else coming down the pipe? Or? I have nothing. Nothing. Unemployed. Please, someone hire me. Please. Someone I'm, hire I'm him. Talented. I'm quite good. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah. No, Hellcats is coming to an end for me. Um, oh. the, the season, I think, we'll, we'll start. We'll finish shooting around March. Mm -hmm. March. I've had an absolute blast. It's so great. Um, it's such a fun show to work on. The, the crew for Hellcats is the old Battlestar crew. A lot, oh. of the, a lot of the crew members are from Battlestar. So for me, it was going to the same lot that we shot Battlestar on, going through the same security gate, talking to the same security guys, but turning left to stages A and B instead of right to stages C, D, E, F, G. Uh, so it was a little bit of a weird thing. Uh, Eureka is now in the Battlestar stages which is heartbreaking because there's no more hangar deck. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, I'm in LA. I'm, I'm doing the thing that every other actor does, and I'm looking for a gig. Wonderful. Well, hopefully we'll see you in something because uh, I think you're a great actor, so Thank you. I'd love to see you more. And one last question, since it is a TV podcast, and you said you like TV, what what's basically your favorite to watch on TV? Favorite Modern shows? Family. Right now, I am. I found Modern Family like a week ago. I've been bothered by people saying you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this, you gotta watch this. I stumbled across it. Episode, who knows what? Season two, episode eleven. Five minutes in, I'm punching myself, realizing that this is quite possibly the cleverest comedy I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. And as soon as it ended, I went online and found every episode I possibly could. And I started at beginning of season one. And I caught myself up in about a day and a half, my girlfriend and I, tears of laughter streaming down our face. <laughs> Whoever makes Modern Family, thank you. That is unbelievable entertainment. <laughs> um, I love Modern Family. I love Family Guy. Uh, most of the stuff that Seth MacFarlane makes. And I watch a lot of sports. Other than that, I don't watch too much of anything. So you're not a real genre fan when it comes to TV? No, I'm, no? I'm all over the map. I like CSI Vegas. Mm -hmm. I still like that one. That's good, fun, fluff. Uh, I like Dexter. I love Sons of, Sons of Anarchy. I think that's fantastic. Uh, my favorite TV show of all time is Deadwood. Right. And that is the greatest television show ever. Uh, it, if it's great writing, it's great acting, and has a real heart, and it's real, uh, that's something that I'll love. So, and then, unfortunately, they're few and far between. Well, thank you very much.